He's been playing a lot of Lucina over the last few weeks, but he's finding the character a little bit boring, not having as much fun with her, so he's trying other characters and Inkling being one of his best choices so far. So we're gonna start out with DDD versus Inkling. Big D does have a lot of experience in this matchup. He's played with uh, Left Tickle many times. And he has a pretty good record against him too. Big D currently kind of considered the player to beat here. He's he won the um, he won the the UBC weekly on Friday, and he has a pretty good track record against most of the players in this tournament. But what is this damage coming out from Lemon? He just dealt a good 60%, geared him all the way around the stage. And what was looking initially great for Big D is right back to even. Big D, of course, uh, DDD has a lot of survivability. Very heavy, very heavy character. Good recovery too, and really good vertical options. I really like the creative use of the up air to intercept the inkling recovery. Really good option. And that, that Gordo is really good at ledge coverage too. Just uh, just shoots it straight up. You can't neutral get up attack into that as Lemon just found out. And yeah, your, your options are really limited when you have to recover against that thing. It's one of the things that makes DDD so scary. And another thing is just how long it takes to, to, to KO him, because he's super heavy. So it takes, even at this percent at 120, it takes a lot to take him out. And, I, and through all that time, they're taking more and more chip damage. He gets a decent amount of damage off of throws and like there mixed up, but gets the berry there. Landing the berry with Inkling is always really powerful. Instantly, act, you can jump out of it, like air dodge back, get into position to do either a forward smash or an up smash, depending on the character. But that Gordo is also strong. It's not only good for ledge trapping, it's really good off stage too. Just throw it, uh, and it's throw it off there, and especially for characters with really linear recoveries, like Inkling, it can be, they can limit your options really well. Good up tilt coverage, gets the, catches, uh, catches Lemon rolling behind him. Gets that stock. Good parry, that multi, that jab. Good for dealing a lot of, for putting a lot of ink on the opponent, but he was out of range there, so he didn't take a whole lot of damage. I'm really liking these back air follow-ups. He's, Lemon's coming in with neutral airs and then following up with back air, sometimes getting multiple back airs on it. I think that was the, the combo that we saw in the first stock, was a lot of like back air follow-ups leading into position for more back airs. And he's just harassing him with this move. He's getting a lot of his damage from that one move alone. Armor's right through it. He's got a lot of ink on him. Big D is in a, he can die to a lot of things right now, but he's gonna keep hanging on. Hops over the grab and neutral airs. What else is he gonna get? Falls down with another neutral air into a forward air. And the Gordo, is that gonna kill? No, not quite. Good DI, but the forward air, oh, he SD's actually going a little, falling a little too hard for that forward air there, but he has a nice enough lead, lead to work on, 118%. He has a lot of ways that he can just kill Inkling outright at this point. And it's going to take a lot of damage before Lemon can do the same. How's this trap going to work? Times the jump to work around the, the Gordo falling through the ledge, but that back air is going to take it. And uh, close to a GV2 for Big D, but he takes game one fairly convincingly. Showing again his proficiency in this matchup, looking quite, quite confident in his combo game. He's looking very confident in his ledge trapping and edge guarding. Knows exactly where to place the Gordos to make Inkling as uncomfortable as possible. Trying to get himself back on the stage. Game two, he's gonna stick it out. Lemon's gonna try Inkling again, maybe on a different stage. He's gonna try Lalad, okay? Give himself some slopes. A bit more verticality, not as high platforms. That third that third platform in the middle will maybe, maybe allow him for more some more uh, combo extensions, maybe some more uh, pressure. Gets can get his opponent on the stage and harass him with aerials really well. Inkling has the mobility to do that a little bit more effectively than DVD does. I think DVD can. So far though, Big D not taking a whole lot of damage. Making good making heavy use of inhale. That move is difficult to punish if you don't know how to how to get around it properly. Has surprisingly little la uh, landing leg or ending leg rather. And it sucks up most projectiles really reliably. So he, Reads the, the roll from Lemon, trying to find a way around. And Big D takes that first stock almost uncontested. This is looking really strong for him so far. And dash attack from Lemon. Big D dropping down again with a neutral air. 
Forward tilt. He's just keeping Lemon out of control here. That the roll isn't en is enough because Big D's getting uh, Lemon to want to use roll a lot more from the ledge because neutral getup is so unsafe against Gordos. But he has he has been really good at covering that too. And he's just completely shutting out Lemon right now. Lemon needs some serious answers. And I'm wondering if that's going to involve a character pick or just some, some really significant ad adaptations. Uh, I, I think that answers the question for me. I think he's looking for a character switch. Yeah, Big D was just in total control from start to finish that entire match. So hard. Like, he, he wasn't even getting the, the, the damage, the, the long extended combos on DDD that time. Thanks, Pink. I'm trying here. <laughs> so, we're going to see Big D locked into the, into the DDD, sticking with it. And we're going to see a character switch from Lemon. He's going to try the Daisy. So, he's sticking with his, uh, his resolution to play characters other than, than Lucina. Daisy, a character that he's been, another one of the characters that he's been playing a decent a lot, amount, amount of friendlies and side brackets and things. So, I respect this choice. Hoping, hoping, I guess, again, just like Inkling. DZ has a lot of potential for, for good damage, good combos, good offstage pressure as well. That forwarder can be a really, really good edge guard tool. And with DDD's linear recovery, it's a, it's a, it's a good way to get, like, it's a good character to get forwarders on. But, oh my goodness, he dropped his shield, I guess, right at the wrong moment. And Big D came down with a really un unorthodox down air. So he, he needs to get a lot more damage onto the Big D, a lot quicker than he's been getting. And like he needs to find solutions to these lead trap situations, because right now DDD just has him pinned. He's got him caught between a rock and a hard place. This entire set, he's just had Lemon off stage and just trapping his landing so well. Like then that right there, Lemon rolled rolled away, rolled past him, and even though he got past the roll, he still got caught by the back air afterwards because he jumped and then Big D's, now he's whipping out the, like he's established so much ledge control, now he's whipping out the Jet Hammer to add an, an, another huge threat. Jet Hammer, by the way, has armor, has like a decent amount of, like, like it has really good range, has a lot of kill power, and it's also really scary on the ledge in this game. Okay, good, uh, good edge guard attempt from Lemon, the Nair covering DDD coming back to the ledge, but the, the armor is too much. Jumps to cover the high jump. The forward air. Again, this is DD's Big D's looking on working on another three stock here. DDD is just like once once he has his advantage state, once he has his control and ledge trapping, it's so hard to get around him. With his massive hitboxes, long lingering, and very powerful projectile. He has an easy time recovering a lot of the time as well with his armor, and he reads another roll and gets a back air. And that is a 3-0 victory for Big D.